Texas 2K is probably the Super Bowl of streetcar racing around the country. You see a lot of Nissan GTRs, you see uh, Porsches, you see Lambos, you see McLarens, you see Vipers. I mean, everybody's out here, and this is the Super Bowl of street events. You know, people call it the Super Bowl of uh, streetcars. It's because truly the fastest streetcars in the world uh, come here to compete. is all about big power, big mile an hour, putting up a number. Back in 05, I was coming through Texas and I stopped in at uh, MTI Racing, talked to Jason Cohen and was bragging about my little heads cam F body that made 400 wheel and had a 200 shot on it. And Jason in his nicest voice told me, son, don't bring your car to Texas unless it makes a thousand wheel. You're just gonna waste your time. It's called TX2K because we're in Texas, and it's 2K because it was the year 2000 when I started the event. Um, and back then, really, it was focused on drag racing. We had a dyno day and a car show. But over the past couple of decades, it's morphed into something much more than that. What we tried to do is take cars that really shouldn't be on the street and, and, and put them here where we have ambulance safety, fire, and, and a very sticky track, walls, and all the things you'd expect in a safe environment. Our company has uh, been supporting them since uh, 2011, and they've been uh, doing it a lot longer than that, but uh, it, we got the bug. It's the first event that we went to, we saw the crowds, we saw the energy, we saw the competition, we're like, okay, we're coming back, this is it. There's something to be said about coming out to 2K and winning a race, setting a record, going fast. You do it at 2K, you get a lot of notoriety for it, and the word travels further than it does if you do it at your home track, for sure. So the thing that I think makes, uh, makes it unique for the fans is that they know that they're coming to see the fastest street cars in the world. You know, they see these cars on the internet, on our social media, on individual shop pages, and a lot of these guys advertise, hey, we're gonna be debuting the car at TX2K. Fans wanna see that, that's number one. Number two, you can't get 30 or 40,000 fans to a street race to see cars like this race, um, but you can here in the stands at Houston Raceway. And then lastly, I think the fact that fans can actually touch, feel, smell the cars, get up close to them, talk to the shops that build them, get to know the drivers, there's all, all access to the pits for everybody that's here. I think, um, I think that's what makes it unique. And you know, truth be told, TX2K does have sort of that uh, folklore of, of being a street racing event. And so I think all of that combined, knowing it's gonna be here in one place at a venue like this that can accommodate so many people, I think that's what draws them here. So if you have a fast street car and you wanna to prove to somebody that you have a fast street car, this is the event. So it's, it's not only that, it's safety, right? You don't want to do this on the street. You bring it over here and prove it. So that's, that's why we love it so much is that, yeah, we, you get to build them and have fun, but where you can take it and run all out and turn it up to the maximum, this is the place.
I'm Ron Mowen. I'm Kenny Tran. My name is Peter Block, and I am PRI.